Hey guys, it's Joe with Modern Survival Sense. I'm here with yet again another... Wait, nope, this is not a review. This is just a video to satisfy someone who said they like to see fire with stove reviews. And I'm not sure I had enough fire in the previous one to satisfy this individual. So I'm going to try to... Uh, or I'm going to attempt to satisfy him with this one. And before you, you've got the Bushcraft Essentials Bush Box 2 full cups of water, Nescafe Taster's Choice Original Gourmet Instant Coffee, didn't know that was in existence, it's kind of an oxymoron isn't it, and a whole unopened bottle of Everclear, what the heck, why do I need Everclear, that's going to be my fuel, alright so, previous video you saw that I use Everclear only right? I'm a little bit out, so I can't burn my stove until I put some more in there. Just to prove that I'm not full of myself. Yep, $16 a bottle. This stuff ain't cheap, but you know what? My health is worth it, right? And the health of my family is worth it. I'd rather spend a little bit extra to get the good stuff for fuel than poison me or my family. All right. And no, I don't drink this stuff. Some people may say that you can use it as multiple purposes, or for multiple purposes, and drinking being one of the reasons or ways you can use it. Nah, not really. If you're in a survival situation and you have uh, alcohol with you, the last thing you want to be doing is drinking alcohol because it's going to impair your judgment. Especially if, say, you're in adverse weather conditions because you're not going to be able to adequately judge whether or not you're uh, succumbing to uh, hypothermia. So, no, I will never drink this in any type of survival situation. However, it does make for a good anesthetic, or an aseptic, rather. Alright, well, I'm all full of Everclear, 8 ounces, or just over. I'm going to put an ounce and a half or so into my Trangia mini alcohol or spirit burner rather that's about an ounce and a half yeah, that's pretty close a little more for good measure right alright and I probably don't need to have a full ounce and a half I just do it because uh, I like fire all right, and put that in here. I'm gonna burn it a little bit differently this time. This time I'm gonna go ahead and take our trivets, or I believe that's what they're called, and I'm going to uh, use the smaller notch to raise the pot up a little bit higher because I want to see if I can get this to burn even faster than I did before. The previous record out of two burns was around seven and a half minutes I believe so I want to see if I can raise this up just a little bit more and improve that burn time or boil time rather alright two cups of uh, well water cold straight from the tap in my trusty 200 or t sorry 20 ounce 591 milliliter Stanley mess uh, pot mess kit pot all right you know what I'm missing I am missing my lighter there we go we're on some jet light Alright, that lit right up. Let's see if we can get a nice view for uh, that person that wanted to see fire. And I apologize in advance for shaky cam. Maybe we can get a nice view of this blooming for you. Look at that. 
How's that for some fire, right? Now let that warm up just a little bit. that looks pretty warm and put our pot on there and take note on my stopwatch let's see 532 ish all right hopefully it's not too grainy for you guys me and my professional video equipment And just to ramble on a little bit, I have to say that I'm pretty impressed with this Trangia uh, alcohol burner. I do have another homemade style uh, alcohol burner, or spirit burner rather, made out of uh, aluminum. It's not the aluminum, regular or standard aluminum cans, but it is still aluminum and it requires a pot to be set on top to pressurize it properly. And this this seems a lot safer than that that is because I can have my own pot stand I don't have to have it sitting on top of the uh, the burner itself and look at that flame go I have to agree with that member that said they like to fire with their stove reviews I'm a big fan of fire that's why you see all kinds of fire tinder videos and uh, ferrocerium rod videos and testing this and testing that out to see you know how best to start a fire it's because when I'm out in the wilderness or the out of doors as some may say I take pride in building a nice fire and I could sit around a, a campfire for hours it's just calming all right I'm gonna shut my trap and you can watch this go I'll be back when the water's boiling. Well, we're sitting at six minutes at this moment, and I do have a little bit of a boil. Six minutes and ten seconds or so. We're almost to a full rolling boil in uh, six and a half minutes. It's, it's almost there to uh, full rolling. Maybe six minutes and 40 seconds or so. Yep. There you go. That's pretty impressive. So, basically, uh, dropping the burner all the way down to the bottom, I did use the solid plate instead of the corrugated one. I figured, you know, that may be better for uh, retaining some of the heat in the stove. And uh, in less than seven minutes, I was able to get uh, water to boil to a full rolling boil. Cool. All right, let's get a little bit more fire action for that member. Look at the flame on this thing. I noticed that as, I don't know if, let's see, it may just be as the temperature goes up. As time goes on, the flame gets more and more intense. All right, well, these cups are rated at 10 ounces. These are the insulated cups that come with uh, the Stanley Mess Kit. I'm going to go ahead and try out this Taster Choice Original. I have never had this coffee before. I hope it's good. I said it's a 10, 10 ounce cup. The instructions say I only need 6 ounces, so I'm going to be real careful and uh, kind of eyeball this.
but. This is going to be really hot, so this would be a good test to see whether or not the, uh, whoo, you hear that? That's the hot water touching the uh, cooler part of the uh, pot. Wow. I'd say that's pretty close to six ounces or so. One thing to note is... Uh, this pot, because it is a little bit on the narrow side, it does pour very easily, so I don't have to worry about uh, spilling it on myself. And you know, I just boiled this water, and this insulated cup shows no sign of heat whatsoever on the outside, so that's kind of nice. Open this up, a little more rambling. I've never had these single serving instant coffees before. And give her a go. Now look at that stove, man. I think for the time being this this may be my preferred method of uh, boiling water right here. I have to test it out with water. All right, water. I have to test this out with uh wood as a wood burning stove but with alcohol it definitely does the trick after the coffee sitting in here for a little while or after it's been sitting here uh, I do notice that the cup itself is warm I don't think it's from sitting here it does actually absorb some of the heat through the or from the inside to the out but I can still you know hold on to it if it was going straight through like from a metal cup there's no way I'd be able to hold this but I know this is hot I don't want to burn my mouth it smells pretty good though well it tastes like coffee a little on the weak side I may have a little bit more than six ounces of water there but it definitely works well, I hope you liked the video, and if you like more fire, let me know, and I'll show more fire. Uh, just a note, you notice how hot the flame gets because the uh, trivet there, you see it glowing red? It's got to be pretty hot for that to happen. Oh, well, looks like we're running out of fuel. All right, well, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Till next time, guys, this is Joe. See ya.